What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all having a great day. And if you're new to the channel and want to hit the subscribe button too, that would help me out immensely. Again, it has been another long two weeks since I last picked up the camera and uploaded the video. You know the whole spiel. Got a new job position, been incredibly busy. I can't complain too much because I asked for this. So be careful what you wish for. I mean, honestly, it's very beneficial of course, but my social life and my social media has just plummeted since I just don't have time for anything right now besides work, work, and more work. I'm grateful enough to be able to eat and drink water. I'm so busy. But anyways, guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you all for tuning in. Um, with the time I have to film today, we are going to be doing um, three things. First, picking up the prelude from Eden Customs. As you all know, I got brand new coilovers and drop forks. I overhauled the whole front suspension with new arms and bushings. For the rear, I got new energy polyurethane bushings installed in the trailing arms, the upper, upper control arms, and the lower control arms. This job I definitely could not have done myself because long story short, all of the bolts were rusted into the arms and the subframe. So I paid a hefty labor charge on that, but the boys at Eden Customs took care of me. They got the prelude aligned, and also we installed new lower ball joints, rear wheel hubs, and wheel bearings. So the prelude suspension has been now completely overhauled, and I'm super stoked on that. I will be dealing the prelude starting in a month or two. So I'm currently selling my daily to my friend of mine because I am funding the next daily project car, which is the JZX100 Chaser, which will be legal in September, but I don't plan on buying this car right now until say the end of the year or the beginning of next year. Just have some things I need to focus on. Huh, so we got that out of the way. Um, second thing we'll be doing in this video, but probably tomorrow, is picking up the Work VSKFs from Powder Coating. Went through some ups and downs, not with the company, but trying to finalize and finding the right white pearlescent that didn't mess up per se during the baking process. Because initially I want to go with a pearl white face just to get like that shimmer, that gleam, that hot boy. But for some reason the white pearl that this powder coating company used didn't work out, so I just went with a gloss white. It's done. The OEM hardware I sent to them has been fully polished, so I'm stoked with that. The third thing we'll be doing today is filming a detail video for the prelude with my business partner, Barack. So keep an eye out on that video. I will update you guys via social media. And if you aren't already following me via social media, link in the description below. Taking up the prelude. We'll go over all the details when we get home. All right, so first impressions with the alignments with the rear polyurethane bushings. The prelude feels so solid. It is, it's pretty comfortable right now even with the um, 16 and 14K spring rates and the, of course, polyurethane bushings. Steering is more responsive. Everything is super tight. It feels great. I want to see how fast I can take a corner now. But overall, like incredibly happy with how this all came out. Again, a huge shout out to Eden Customs for getting this job done to me. Made it on safely. Prelude drives. Amazing. Again, a huge shout out to Eden Customs. So currently waiting on Barack right now. Gonna go eat dinner with my girl. And then we'll begin washing the prelude. Hopefully these rain clouds don't stop us. All right, so change of plans. So unfortunately, Brock's gimbal is acting up, so we're gonna push our video until next week, but I'm gonna continue washing the prelude. I did pick up a new pressure washer. Highly recommend getting the extended warranty. I had this exact pressure washer. Of course, bought the warranty three years ago. Lasted me 50 plus cars and like three roof jobs. And I have no complaints. What I also did too was buy Quick Connects. 
and I put some thread sealing on it so hopefully these don't leak. These are 38s if anybody is wondering. Got these at Home Depot, they were like five bucks each. So without further ado, let's go ahead and wash the prelude. Just got done washing the prelude. The ceramic coating on the prelude is still holding up well after two years. It's gonna be fun start dealing the prelude again. Not looking forward to it, honestly, but it's for a good cause when I buy the Toyota JZX100 Chaser. That doesn't mean though that I've put a pause on this build. I'm still trying to source a motor trans and a front clip. These will be the daily wheels. I will be buying a full set, not a pair, but a full set of the Orc Kai Kiwamis. Of course in white. It is a new day. I just got back from Powder Bros to pick up the work VSK faces and they look amazing. Again, a huge shout out to Tyler and his crew for blessing me with this awesome powder coating job. So here is one of the work VSKF face in gloss white. The powder coat laid down amazing. Little to no orange peel. This face came out amazing. A huge shout out again to Tyler and his crew for taking care of me. He also took the liberty to hand polish all of the hardware for me since I wanted to retain as much as the OEM hardware as possible. Here are the other three. These also came out near flawless. Got the backside also powder coated. I liked how the logos are still very prominent. He cleaned off the center bore hubs for me too. These are amazing. I cannot wait to get these mounted for the Skyline. Got the bag of hardware here. Again, all hand polished. Powder bros for all your powder coating needs. Now that step one or stage one is completed, now we're moving on to stage two, which will be purchasing the new lips and barrels. In terms of barrels, I'm going to run 18 by five squared. And in terms of lips, I'll be running four and a half up front and five in the rear. I'm pretty confident I can fit a super low offset on the Skyline, shouldn't be an issue. And then for tires, I already have these acquired. I run with Yokohama Advent Flevas in 225, 35, 18. Couldn't find these in a Federal 5.5 SS because they were either not in stock or just non-existent anymore due to the whole pandemic. But I've read a lot of good reviews on the Yokohama Advents. These did run me a pretty penny. I think I paid a little over 800 for this set off of Tire Easy which is normally where I get all my tires, but pretty slow to run a new and better tire. At this point now, I'm gonna go ahead and ceramic coat the faces. All right, just got done ceramic coating all the faces. Of course, doesn't look <laughs> any different, but now they are protected for a good two years. Other than that, guys, thank you so much for making it to the end of the video. I know the past couple videos, I've been super exciting, but I appreciate you all for sticking around. I'm doing my absolute best with the time that I have to produce content and hopefully within the next couple of videos or so, I will be back on a consistent, say, YouTube schedule. But thank you again, everybody, so much for the continuous love and support. And if you're new to the channel and want to subscribe on too, that'd be awesome. And remember, aim high, drive low. We'll catch the next video. Take care.